Hey guys, welcome to Let This Path of Progress in my three-part Let's Play series here. And this one is something I have a feeling that you guys are going to want to see more of. But what is Let This Path of Progress? It's basically a new city builder that's just been released. And it is exactly in the same style as the old Impression City Builders, but it's by new developers, new engine, but it's still pretty much the same systems. Now, uh, on release, the game did have a few hiccups with bugs and a few features being implemented, but the developers, I've been watching them on their Steam page, and they have been dedicated to patching in new features, updates, bug fixes, everything. So this is their first game, and as far as I could tell, it was six people who made it over nine months. So considering how little time and how few people they had, and that this is their first game, this is a pretty decent uh, creation. And also, Let This Path of Progress is, as far as I can tell, the only hope for the classic city builder to be returned because Medieval Maya didn't really pan out, now did it? <laughs> so. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and play the game. Now I have done the tutorial. I'm not going to show you the tutorials because that's sort of a... Uh, you guys can play that for yourself. I'm just going to go straight into the campaign. And it says here, 26 challenging missions that will guide you through more than 100 years of the Lithian Industrial Revolution. So, this game is rather steampunky, you'll see that soon. And the art style is actually pretty nice. It's sort of uh, this sort of hand-drawn... Uh, frame by frame animation. Now, I do have to warn you that uh, uh, Lethis, Lethis, I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that, Lethis, Path of Progress is, uh, it's because of the development team being so small and a relatively short time they've been working on it, there are a few things which aren't in the game. So for example, there's no voice acting, but that's not really the point of it. But uh, no voice acting on the mission, so never mind, you've got me to do the voice acting. So let's have a look at Fedheim here. So the objectives are going to be 1,500 workers in level 10 housing, 4,000 units of meat as tribute to the Emperor, and uh, the description is just food for the Empire. So uh, let's go ahead and play. I'm playing on hard because I suppose I'm experienced in these sort of games. So let's go ahead and play. Mr. Ellington, what a pleasure to meet you. How are you? I have excellent news. As you might have heard, Professor Alstrom's inventions are sensational. Condensed steam as a source of energy. Yet this may lead to a rural exodus. Big cities are going to pop up just as fame mushrooms. A focus on agriculture and steady food supply will become important issues. It is your task to tackle these problems. All eyes are on you. Succeed and the Empire will reward you portly. So, Archibald Ellington is one of the best urbanists in all of Lethis. Lethis? Lethis. I'm gonna say Lethis. And he, he risks his career with this task. He has to swiftly build a city with strong focus on agriculture in the high providence, provinces to prevent a local famine. Wilhelm IV, Emperor of Lethis, chose Fedheim for this task, a large fertile area south of the Empire's capital city, Sterenhall. There are no geysers to be found in this area, yet you can provide your workers with copper via trade. Okay. Advice, you can control which resources are distributed and therefore you may control the level of your houses. Okay. So, let's go ahead and play and see what the first campaign mission is, Fedheim. And, okay, we start with a pretty open area. This brown stuff I know is fertile land. Bit of water over there. But you can see the graphic style is is quite a uh, quite interesting actually. So I gotta pick a place to build my city, and I think I'll just uh, where's the entrance? The entrance is over there. So I guess I'll just start somewhere over here. Let's uh, just go ahead and place things around. I don't think there's any resources to go for here. Just farms, I think. If I check on the food and farms, we can grow wheat farms, barley farms. Okay, basically, yeah, it's food productions there. How about, uh, industry? What do we have here? Hardware store, greenhouse, tailor. I know it takes a while to, to get used to all of these new things. But, uh, I guess we'll be trading as well. We're here, Fedheim. Richterberg, they're selling pumpkins, I think? Uh, four wood. We, we need to import copper, I think it was. But uh, we also gotta figure out something to sell. Here, I think those are potatoes. That's fish. Okay, they, they sell copper, they buy gems, beer. Okay, we can export beer, we can export uh, 
some food stuffs here and we can export bread. Okay, so bread, beer, we can do those. So I'm gonna set up a city here and sh uh, just, uh, this is my first city, so I'm not gonna be too, uh, I should actually pause the game here. Uh, I'm gonna set up my first sort of city here and uh, well, you'll get to see what this game actually looks like. All right, I actually just want to show you something here. I set up a residential block, but this is a cool feature that I really do like. I'm gonna put down basically a prefecture here. It's maintenance, just to make sure buildings don't collapse. You guys know how this works. And uh, you can see if you place it on the road, it actually shows where it, this guy's gonna be walking. So let's go ahead and place that down. There we go. And when you bring up that, if I go into to administration and maintenance, it brings up that walk path again. So that's really, really cool. So uh, what else do we need from maintenance? Uh, there's a few things we could put down uh, under, let's see, services. We could definitely put down a well. Again, it's uh, it shows the walking path, so there we go. And uh, that's basically gonna evolve the houses, first of all. So now let's extend this road down here. And of course there are roadblocks in this game. There we go, let's place a roadblock. So we have that nice block of houses there. I'm gonna stick to a pretty standard design this time around. So now let's get our food going. I'm gonna put down a bunch of farms. Leave some space there. So this is the wheat farm. And wheat farms are quite handy, as you might imagine. And I'm also gonna put down some barley farms. And I'm gonna turn the road this way, I think, to leave some room for industry. And I'm gonna extend this road that way. Okay, good. So. With the wheat, you can't actually eat wheat now, can you? If you have ever tried to eat wheat, that's sort of weird. Uh, let's go to storage and I'm gonna set down a granary. Uh, let's see, can a granary... This is... Yes, I'm gonna set down the granary there. And I'm gonna set down a warehouse here. There we go, they're pretty big buildings. And these things work as you might ex uh, expect. I'm gonna set all to refuse and I'm gonna accept bread only for the food source. That seems good. And for this, I'm going to accept... Uh, what do I want? Uh, just accept beer. So I'm going to refuse all. Accept beer. And I don't think we'll need... We'll probably need to accept... I think we've got to import copper. But I'm going to set beer to just fill half of the warehouse for that. Okay, good. So we've got our farms there. I'm going to now... Uh, let's see put some production buildings down. So let's see, under industry, we can have... Let's see... Was it under food? Ah, that, under food. Bakery. So, we gotta have some bakeries to turn our wheat into bread. And then we can also have... Ooh, ranches. Ranches create uh, another type of food source. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. But I can also put down these abbeys. Abbeys, uh... If you didn't know, Abbeys will create beer. <laughs> uh, yes, they will do that. So I'm going to extend this road down this way. There we go. And that should be fine. We do need some maintenance around here, so let's go ahead and put down a maintenance guy. And I guess I could put that over here. That should work fine. Yes, he should cover all of that. So you can, you can see the walk path. Okay, so let's play the game. There we go, all the buildings are set down. Gotta wait for some people to walk in. And you can see here, migrants coming in. So yeah, there is no voice acting in this game, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, again, voice acting is very expensive. So you can see them moving in here. They're, they've got tents, which are level one residences. So let's see, they currently need access to a well to uh, evolve. So I do have a well down already. So the well's gonna start working here. And there we go. Uh, that's a... That's a maintenance person. Is this a well person? There we go. Water supplier. And you can see some of these houses are evolving. Uh, caravan. They need food. Okay, so they need food to... Uh, uh, they need food to sort of uh, evolve further. I'm not sure if we have enough houses here. They currently fit six for each. We currently need another 64 workers. Yes, we have enough. We have more than 10 houses here. So we'll wait for people to move in and then our industries should start taking off. It doesn't seem to be uh, time to, to... It's not sowing or harvest season yet. Sowing on the 24th of Vendemiel... Um, yeah, the, the, the calendar is 
a French system, so uh, it's a bit hard to understand at, at, the, at the start. I'm still getting used to it. But, oh, do we not actually have a road over there? I think we don't have a road there. Well, it's okay. We'll just put a roadblock there. That's fine. Uh, farms don't need maintenance. Uh, not enough workers. How many workers do we need? 102 more workers needed. Oh, I sort of misjudged that. There we go. Let's put down a whole bunch more houses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's another 10. That uh, is not 100 workers yet, so I'll put down a few more here. There we go. That should bring enough workers in to get things going. We should probably actually turn off our bakeries. It's one by one right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we got our farms going. And barley farms, wheat farms, that's good. More people moving in. So yes, we can just turn these back on. There we go. I'm not sure if there's a way to turn the whole industry on and off or not, but either way, farms are going quite nicely. And you can see this aesthetic, this nice design. It's it's sort of interesting and, and really cool actually that they start decided to make a classic city builder, but they didn't set it in some historical period or anything like that. That this is very steampunky sort of uh, 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 theme, which is really nice. You can see that this weird. Uh, uh, slightly fantasy things going on. Uh, you can see there's like little critters in the forest. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, so, so that's really nice. And there's even like you can see her spirits and ghosts. There's a tomb over here on this island. Uh, we'll leave that alone, I think. So uh, the objectives are to increase our house level to 10 and we need to send 4,000 meat as tribute to the Emperor. Meat is uh, another source of food where we have to sort of put down ranches and I think ranches take wheat to feed cattle, so we'll need to put down more um, more wheat fields for that uh, because we're currently probably using all our wheat to turn into bread. So, uh, we just need some food here. I'm gonna skip ahead, wait for our harvest to come in and turn our uh, harvest into some food and beer. Okay, here we go. We've uh, brought in the barley and we've converted that into uh, the this beer which is now going to our warehouse to stock up there and we also have uh, uh, oh we we got stocks of wheat here let me pause the game here. I think I actually forgot something <laughs> you don't just send wheat to the bakery no you don't do that you actually have to put them into windmills first uh, so yes I forgot to do that so let's go ahead and put two windmills down here uh, and continue on there. The windmills take the wheat and turn it into this sort of uh, the flour and from flour we send it to the bakery to turn into bread. There we go. So here's some uh, wheat coming in here and you can see it's producing. It's nice that they actually show this bar. I know in the, the old impressions games it showed a percentage but a bar is actually easier to understand at first glance rather than looking at a percentage. So there we go. And also you might notice when you click on things, it doesn't actually pause the game, everything still runs in the background, so you can actually watch bars sort of go up. It, it seems like we got plenty of wheat here, so um, let's uh, try put down a ranch or two here. I'm gonna leave some space here. How big is a farm? Four tiles? Uh, no, actually, I'm just gonna put down the ranch straight away here. And the ranch also needs wheat to convert into meat. Okay. So we can go ahead and do that. You can see the, the wheat is being transported along into these uh, uh, ranches here. And the windmill is producing flour, which I think is going... Yes, it is going to the bakery. So there we go. I'm not sure if we need more farms here. I think we're doing okay. We've actually got plenty still stocked in there. So this next season also should produce uh, a lot more because we've started on time. Uh, but we are short of employees, aren't we? So let's just go ahead and put down a bunch more houses here. We're currently short by <laughs> another hundred employees, which is uh, uh, not so great. I'm gonna just spam some houses there. Because we need some food before we can actually... Uh, let's turn off these abbeys. And so we can get our food production going. Because we have plenty of beer right now. The... We can turn this off because there's no... I don't know, do we want... The windmills are working at, at maximum capacity now, so, so it should be good. So we should be getting some bread in soon. 
Um, are we currently not accepting bread or did I accept the wrong thing? That's bread, right? Oh, there's not enough employees in the granary. Right, okay, that 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 is an issue. Um, how many people do we need here? 44 workers needed. I'm not sure if we can... Is there a way to... Oh, I don't have access to advisors or anything like that yet. Uh, I gotta get more people in to so we can actually get some people working at the granary. How do we do that? What can we turn off? Let's see. Well, we can... There's no one... Not enough people working there either. I suppose we could turn off our farms for a short while. We don't need more beer right now, so I'm gonna turn off my barley farms. There we go, now we got some bread going. I, again, as usual in these games, I always expand too quickly. But turning off the barley farms means the bread's coming in, so now we have a source of food. So let's go ahead and go to, um, let's see, it's under, not administrative, services. We can put down, uh, let's see, is it services? No? What is it, under food? Bakery, abbey, ranch, no? Storage? Ah, it's under storage, shop. There we go. We can put down a shop, which you, it's pretty much a marketplace. I'm gonna put it here. And they are going to refuse all. I'm gonna accept bread and beer. Just bread and beer, because I don't want to use up the meat because we have to send the meat over as tribute to the emperor. And for the meat, I'm gonna stock it into our... Uh, oh, it has to go into the granary as well, does it? Okay, it's gonna accept meat here. And we need 4,000 in there, so I'm gonna set that there and set bread to store as 1,800 for now. Okay, there we go, meat's coming in. Once the, the meat has come in properly, we can start providing meat to the populace. But there we go, we're evolving the houses, they've now gotten some food, and they need access to a wash house, which is basically a bathhouse. So let's go ahead and put this. Cool thing about this game, if you press R, you can actually rotate the building in any direction you like. So I'm gonna put that here. Uh, it's a nice space-efficient way of... Actually, I could squeeze it right there. That's pretty good. There we go. Got a wash house, so we can evolve these houses even further, get more people coming in. We actually have unemployment now, um, which is... Uh, we should uh, open up a trade route. Uh, we we want to import uh, copper. There we go. We can import copper. I'm going to open a trade route for 500. And I'm going to set down a trading port thing, which I can stick here. We'll need another maintenance building over here. I'm gonna stick this, give it a bit of space. Put it there. And under administration, maintenance, have a backup building going around this way. Ooh, I'm gonna undo that because here's something that I really like. You can rotate buildings, even these even buildings. So there we go, put that there. It looks nicer, which means I'm gonna have to fix that one as well, aren't I? There we go. So, uh, we've got this trading port in here, and uh, you might be able to tell it's not a, your typical trading port, so import. I'm gonna import uh, copper here, and I, can, I can't export any of this, I don't produce any of that. Uh, I gotta look at my trading options here, what else can I export? I can export bread, and I can export beer. So I'm gonna open this, and currently I'm importing copper. I can export beer to sort of supplement my income. I can also open this to export bread. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna set my exports to... Uh, export maybe 800 units of beer? No, I'm gonna just export 400 units of beer and I can export... Uh, 800 units of bread. That should supplement my income for the import of copper I'm, I'm bringing in. So now that I'm doing that, I actually have to boost my production. Let's see. Uh, how do I do this? I'll need more farms. So let's put down more wheat farms. I'm now exporting bread, so I'm gonna put down more wheat farms. Four should do. And I'm gonna put down more barley farms as well. Since we have plenty of unemployment, this will be no problem. And I also turned off these barley farms, which is gonna be slightly bad. There we go, so we've doubled our 
raw materials there, which means we also have to increase our production capacity here. I guess I could just expand this road, put a roadblock, put in a new... Uh, let's see, put in a new maintenance building. And now we can put in some more production facilities. Let's put down two more windmills. We can put down more abbeys. Two more there. And we can also put down more bakeries. So that should be okay. We'll see how much surplus we have once we get that going. And uh, meat productions, we should be fine. How much meat do we have right now? We have 1,400. Need more of that. So, the houses have also evolved. Let's continue the game here. Uh, the environment isn't pretty enough for this house's residents. So we, we are supplying beer to them, I think. Yes, we are actually supplying beer. So now we gotta go to some aesthetics. So let's put down a row of trees for them, shall we? There we go. All evolving very nicely now. Uh, needs access to a theater. Okay. Don't think we can do that. Um, do we have a theater? Oh, we should actually put down a town hall, shouldn't we? Town hall is allows us to do some administration stuff. Let's put that down. Salaries are normal. Now we can see uh, our salary. Unemployment is going really, really high, though, um, as these buildings do evolve. So we probably shouldn't... Uh, uh, evolve these houses much more just yet because people are still moving in But we should be able to ramp up our productions. Oh, I didn't actually build a road for these things There we go Now uh, Nobody works in these buildings Not sure why I don't think yeah buildings don't need access to houses as far as I know Oh, it's just not seasons. Right? It's not it's not the season to, to do that. Okay, so they need a theater to evolve further. Ooh, you can see blue air balloon coming in here, uh, which means we are importing... I think that's imports? Yeah, we're importing copper, which means we should stock copper in here, I think. We can accept that. We don't need much space for it. Uh, are we actually exporting anything right now? Doesn't seem like it. Let me check. Does anyone buy cutlery? You, you turn copper into cutlery? No one's... Is no, does no one buy it? No. Basically, we, we just have to export beer and uh, bread, I think. So, we have to wait for our supplies to come out because our money is sort of dropping. Perhaps I should stop the import of copper right now? Just uh, until our production stuff gets going. I think that should be fine. Yeah. Uh oh, you might have noticed this. Um, these uh, houses are haunted by phantoms, which means it's basically the equivalent of diseases on this one. Which means I gotta put down this exorcist here. Oh, I, I placed it in the wrong spot. Uh, this exorcist right here. There we go. This exorcist will send a guy around and it's basically like... Uh, it, it gets rid of these spirits, basically. It's haunted by phantoms, which means, there we go. This guy now walks around, clears the phantoms out, and uh, the buildings return back to uh, normal, really. So this is basically how diseases work, like in previous Impressions games. All right, so our production is slowly ramping up here, but I think I gotta wait for this next harvest season to get things really going. Oh, an event! Uh, Steren Hall's mines are producing more copper than usual. The Emperor therefore decided to export a higher amount of it. You may now import more copper from Steren Hall. Well, I'm not importing copper quite yet because I haven't got my exports going. Uh, still waiting for this next uh, harvest season. Uh, and then, because you can see here, we're, we're currently short on some raw materials. Uh, why does nobody work in this building? Are we short on employees? No, unemployment is 5%. I'm not sure why nobody works in this building. Oh, it's turned off. Did I turn off these abbeys? Oh, I forgot to turn these abbeys back on. No wonder why our beer production has been so low. Uh, is anything else not working here? I think everything is currently functional. There we go. 15 more workers needed. That's a nice place to be. So, uh, there we go. Beer production is coming in now, which is good. 
Uh, so once exports start going and we start making some money, we'll be able to move on to the next phase. Oh, another event here. Huge discovery. Discoverer Calvin Nemo recently came back from his expedition with huge news. He discovered an enormous island in the midst of the ocean. Many thought that Lethys East was merely covered by an endless sea. The blue island just rem reminds us again in what marvelous times we're living. Your citizens become more content. I'm not sure if that actually affects anything. Is that the blue island that they're talking about there? Not too sure. But as you can see here, I've uh, gone and put some purple pinkish trees here to evolve these houses even more. Now they do need access to a theater to evolve further, which I don't want to do quite yet because we have unemployment. But our beer production is uh, soaring up and you can see they're bringing bread to this uh, uh, trading post here. And uh, that means there should be a... Uh, there should be someone in there buying things. There we go, we're actually starting to sell some bread here. And our money is sort of uh, going up. I'm not sure if we're exporting enough stuff though. Um, but we are completely overproducing bread and uh, 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 beer here, which is good because that, that's what we need to export. So, uh, we're almost on our way to making more money here and we've almost got 4,000 meat to, to send. Actually, we do. Let's go ahead and pay tribute here. There we go. Now we can actually even out the spacing of bread and uh, meat in the granary because we've paid the tribute. We've got plenty of that going around. And let's see, uh, our exports, how are they looking? We're not actually selling that much. We only sold 200 units of bread. That's a bit strange, I'm sure. Oh no, we sold, there we go. We sold 600, just took a bit to update there. Okay. So we, I also put down a tax collector, which is now collecting taxes, which should at least cover the, their salaries, I think. Um, but we could continue to evolve these houses, but we also have to deal with the unemployment uh, issue. So uh, what I can do is I can preemptively put down some industry here. Let's see, uh, I can put down these hardware stores. Hardware stores convert copper into utensils, which is... Uh, quite necessary for evolving those houses. I'm gonna put down two of those. Those take up quite a lot of people, which means we should be able to now evolve these houses. I probably have too many houses here, uh, because I need a bit more space. Uh, let's see, it's under services and a theater is quite big. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. I could probably just destroy one house at the end here, squeeze it in. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna destroy this house here and squeeze in the theater there. There we go. Theater's gone down in the corner there. It looks quite nice actually. And that should evolve our houses. We did destroy one house, so we need workers now. But there we go, evolving into these lovely blue roofed houses, which uh, now require utensils which means we got to start converting copper into uh, utensils. Oh, because I put these down, they did actually take the copper I imported last time. Uh, is this accepting utensils, by the way? It is not. Let's accept that. Just in a small amount, because we just need to supply it to the people. 800 units should be enough. There we go. Now, how more people moving in? How are exports doing? We're still selling bread. That's good. So... Now we just have to evolve these houses. Um, they're currently level six. They demand utensils. How's our unemployment? We do have quite a bit of unemployment. Let's see, what else can we export here? Let's see, selling... They buy bread. We can also sell meat and wheat, actually. That's gold, I think. Uh, buying beer. Okay, let's just sort of up our exports here. How much are we selling? We can't, we should, oh, I set the limit way too low. Let's sell as much as we can here. Set a maximum on that and ooh, silk for Sterenhol's bourgeoisie. The capital is in need of silk and demands a thousand units to be delivered within 360 days. Um, wait, silk? How do I produce that? Uh, let's see. I know there was a industry there's silk manufacturer. I can put these two down. And they need barley to convert into silk. 
Okay. Oh, is that silk? Uh, oh, we can only buy silk. Okay, so we gotta produce silk. I think it's silk, not fabrics. Let me check my messages here. Thousand units of silk, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a warehouse here as well. Just there. And this is refusing all. Just take silk for now. There we go. So, we'll get silk uh, up and running soon enough. Uh, we probably need to put down a couple more farms then if we're doing that. There we go, a couple more barley farms. That should supplement the requirement of barley for there. Okay, cool. So now do we, how's our employment looking? Unemployment 21%, still pretty bad. Uh, well, I suppose we should just, we don't need any more beer. And we're still losing money. <laughs> um, hopefully, I, I did up my exports to, to maximize as much as I can sell here. So hopefully we can actually get that going. All right, we are sort of making money now that we're selling all our bread and stuff like that. Um, but we are sort of re a bit low on bread, so I put down a few more farms, mills, and bakeries down here to sort of boost uh, that production. Uh, do we have enough silk yet? We actually have a thousand units of silk. Do I have... Um, there we go. Uh, capital is in need of silk, let's pay that. And now we are actually short on a couple employees, so we can start... Uh, uh, evolving these houses. I did bring in, uh, started importing the copper again, uh, which means we do have a bit, a few utensils in the, the warehouse already. So let's accept these utensils. So go ahead and grab those 400 units, evolve these houses and get me more people. So all my industry starts working again. So here we go. We brought in the utensils. We're now stocking utensils. And trade is going, you can see here, balloons going out, our red balloons coming in are blue, and these houses are now evolving to single family house, level seven, and they need medicine from a herbalist, which is a new service. Um, let's see, it's under services, and we have a herbalist. We can, where can we stick it? Okay, so this is nice because it shows where the person's gonna walk. If I put it here, they're gonna walk the wrong way. This will work, so I can put the herbalist there, and they need sort of herbs, which we, means we gotta put down, let's see, under, it's under industry, I think, and greenhouse. We gotta put down a greenhouse, so let's put down one. It fits there quite nicely. And they just sort of produce herbs to send to the herbalist, and one should be enough to supply that one herbalist to evolve these houses further. Now, we do need, uh, we're still short on employees, are we? 40 workers needed. Let's uh, let's turn this off and let's turn this off. We don't have enough people working in the hardware store to produce our utensils because you can see we didn't actually manage to evolve all of these houses. There's still room for people to move in though. Okay, so let's get our utensils production going. And then we should be able to evolve all these houses and then also provide them with herbalist stuff. And it seems like our money is sort of stabilized at around 5,000, which is good. So let's get this going. Oh, the capital is asking for more silk, 1,500 units. I think I have that. Yes, so I, I definitely had that in stock, so I sent that off. Uh, and uh, my houses are evolving. There we go. They're over at level 8 now and... Uh, the environment isn't pretty enough for them to evolve. Uh, oh, they're at level nine, actually, uh, because they've they've got their, their medicine and all sorts of things. Look at that, they're evolving into level nine houses. And I'm starting to run out of money, but I might be able to win this mission uh, before I run out of money. Because exports, there's just not enough to export. I mean, I'm currently exporting uh, as much bread as I can produce and all the meat I can produce, there we go. Uh, I'm just sort of setting this to max, uh, and that's sort of taking up my food supply, and I'm definitely selling all the beer I can produce. This is glass, this is uh, jewelry, I can't produce those things. But there we go. Uh, they want newspapers from the kiosk to evolve further, which I think is under services. Newspaper, kiosk, and... How do I squeeze this in here? I think I'm gonna have to pause this here and move these buildings over by one slot. This is a tax collector and a 
and see tax collector and the the exorcist so let's go over to put those back down uh there we go the exorcist the tax collector and then we can also put down the services newspaper kiosk there we go does that require anything i don't think so so let's continue on and that should evolve our houses over to level 10 which would be perfect and i'm not sure if i can actually fit uh, 1,500 inhabitants in this area. That's kind of awkward. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, the environment isn't pretty enough for those houses to evolve, so I'm gonna have to start dumping down some decorations here. Let's try that. There we go, two big fountains. That should help them out. Gonna put a big fountain there as well, and one over here. There we go, now they're evolving. Cool. So, uh, bread is starting to oversupply, which is good. Meat, not so much. Um, we are sort of trying to produce more meat, but uh, never mind. Uh, but, oh, we actually have level 10 housing now. Okay, cool. And it's uh, 40 people in each house, uh, which I think we can be able to reach 1,500. 40 people in, let's see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 20... 30, 40, I got 40 houses here, 40 times 40 is 1,600. Yes, I think my math is on point, so I just got to evolve these houses further. Why are these houses devolving? From the newspaper kiosk, but the newspaper kiosk is working fine. Um, that's strange. Now it's dropped down. Oh, do they not have medicine? They have medicine. Why are they all devolving? What, what, have, what supply have they lost? We still have bread. We still have meat. We still have beer. Utensils? Did they lose utensils? Why do I not have utensils? I'm still importing copper, right? Oh no, that's not so good. We're gonna have massive needs for People? Oh wait, no, they're evolving back up. Okay, good. Are we still stocking? We're not stocking utensils, but um, we gotta boost our production on that. Uh, I think we're not importing enough copper to support this many houses. So, okay, I've boosted copper supply. Um, got, just gotta wait for the next shipment, I think. All right, here we go. Utensils are starting to come back in and uh, these houses are just starting to devolve again. Uh, which is not so good, but uh, it's because they're running out of utensils, which, uh, come on, the shop just grabbed some, quickly resupply them with, with utensils. Our food production has skyrocketed, and uh, because I've just been boosting production, so we can now maximize our exports on that, and it's actually uh, causing us to make some money. You can see our money is actually going up to, up to 6,600 there. So, uh, are you gonna evolve these houses again? They have utensils again, you can see people walking back in after moving out. Uh, they're homeless persons, yeah, they're coming back in, come on, evolve back up. And hopefully that should uh, allow, well, first of all, deal with our employment issue. And and once the, the let's see, are we, oh, come on, keep producing. Okay, there we go, we're producing utensils again. So we are bringing them back up to level 10 housing, which means, uh, there we go, we're at, s basically half of our people are at the correct level of residences. Uh, we just gotta evolve the second half once the utensil supply stabilizes. Okay, here we go, all my houses evolving back up to level 10 and, uh, the, uh oh, the, Mines are producing more gold than usual. Export higher amounts of it. Oh, am I supposed to be importing gold from Sterenhall? Oh, we could import gold from Sterenhall, turn it into jewelry and sell it back to them. But that's, that doesn't really make much money. Anyway, I, I am still making money just from selling my foodstuffs. So now that all these houses have evolved, uh, there's room for some people to move in, but uh, not that many. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to reach uh, 1,500 here. Ooh, that house hasn't evolved. Uh, we need to put down some aesthetics here. 
Let's uh, keep it up with these big fountains, I guess. Let's evolve that, evolve that, and evolve that. Are you evolving? Oh, that needs a newspaper kiosk. Okay, so that should... Oh, we have 1,500 people. Perfect. Ah, there we go. We've won. Yes, uh, that, that was trickier than I expected for mission one. That was pretty tough. Um, but we did actually manage to do it. We managed to, to uh, uh, start making money, got our population up. But look how many farms we needed. This is a lot more farms than I was expecting. And all this production facility down here. So that was pretty tough. Uh, but we managed to do it. So let's just go ahead and continue. All right, you didn't have to press continue, you had to press quit to get to the victory screen. That's a bit confusing. But anyway, uh, here we go, victory! Thanks to you, Fedheim really became a success. I am delighted to tell you that your reputation is well merited. I still have plenty of other projects for you, Mr. Ellington. The 2,000 souls of Fedheim produce tons of bread and meat every year, which are exported to all areas of high provinces. Thanks to Archibald's work, this region may welcome further migrants without having to worry about empty stores or lack of food. It is safe to say that Willem IV had the right idea at the right time. Only few people would have anticipated the social and economic troubles arising from this new technology. Alright, so uh, that's the end of mission one in my three-part Let's Play here. And uh, do let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of this. A modern classic city builder uh, with some changes up and an interesting steampunky theme. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.